So, up until about an hour ago, I still had no idea if I got to give a speech. And Derek finally looks at me and goes, you know what, I just got to go ahead. You get to give a speech. <laughs> so, I'd like to say that I have an excuse and say, well, I never, never rehearsed it. But I honestly have been rehearsing it for three months. So, so it kind of comes, it kind of came to me to, today when I'm standing up there as we came up and the vows are being said and I'm looking out across all these people that are literally, they were literally here and still are here to support Jamie and Derek Pinkston and the unification of the two. And I'm like, you know what? I've never, from this scope, I now appreciate how amazing that really is, that people come together like this, because they basically are saying, we're putting our stamp of approval on these two being together forever. And when I looked out and saw all those people, I'm like every single one of these people had a, had a part, a piece in both of their lives to bring them to that moment. So I didn't actually cry up there, because we were too busy sweating. <laughs> Thank you, Nate, for the do rag. <laughs> yeah. So, my relationship with Derek started back in 1990 when I moved to Tokyo. And when we first met, I. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to tell a stereotypical story that I've always told when Derek and I met. He was kind of a dick, but. <laughs> but I'll leave it at that. So Nathan introduced me to him, and honestly, the only reason I wanted to hang out with him, because he, he had a hot sister, Adria. <laughs> and I, I heard she walked around the house scantily nude sometimes. <laughs> so, yes, and, and my amazing wife, Debbie, knows the story. <laughs> So that's how it started, but what happened in like the next three years in high school is that his family, Jackie and Hugh and Adrian Derek, and also the Combs family, they showed me what a true family was, because mine wasn't quite as ideal. And so, gosh, okay. <laughs> um, so, Fast forward to graduation, us going, you know, Nate, Derek, and I going on our different paths. And then I met my amazing wife, Debbie, and asked her to marry me. We got married in the, uh, in Coquille at the Catholic Church, and our reception was actually at the Pinkston's house in their backyard. And it was kind of a similar setting to what we have today. And guess who our little ring bearer was? It was Thorne Stevens. <laughs> he was only four years old. What's that? Now he's married. Maybe he might be. Uh, maybe he has an announcement soon. <laughs> so I'll bring this. I'll bring this around soon. Where the? Where is Thorne? Oh. All right. Sorry, Pastor. So, anyway, so we went on our separate paths, Derek and I, but we always remained friends. And the one thing about Derek through uh, the last, well, shit, 31 years, he's always been more than available to me. I mean, if I ever pick up the phone or text, Derek will always respond to me, like, quickly, and be there for me. Now, let's just talk a little bit about the path of Derek, because he is 46 years old and just got married for the first time. <laughs> Woo! So, I, I think on the, we can take it on the high level that it just took the right person and timing was not necessarily the right thing. But the other part about it is I've also been involved with every single, well not been involved with every single one of Derek's girlfriends. <laughs> but, 
Derek traditionally only introduces me to his girlfriends when he he's ready, because he knows I'm going to tear them apart, pick them apart, just to figure out. I, well, I just want to see who they are. So now I've never approved, which. Who the fuck cares if Steve approves? <laughs> Maybe he does, but I've never approved of any of Derek's girlfriends. So through all of his beard phases and his other phases, and the women that I put up with, and Debbie put up with, all of a sudden, Janie comes around a year ago, and I met her quickly, briefly, and then he brought her over to the house, and I, I wasn't going to say this, and Janie, if you fucking hate me after this, you'll get over it. <laughs> Janie was on our front deck, and it was just me, Debbie, and Janie. And she says, you know what? I'm not, I've been through some things, I'm just not sure if I'm ready to take on this project. I had no idea what to say, because I know Derek, he can be a project, but <laughs> but the rewarding benefits of being close to Derek are always worth the project. So now a year later, she decided, well, nine months, whatever, she decided she was willing to take on the project. And what I've seen as far as Derek, his happiness level in the last year is off the charts. So. Congratulations, you two. I just, I look forward to many happy years of us getting together here and there. If Derek needs his escapes to the coast to unwind, Janie might just let him go and say. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, so, anyway, love you both incredibly, incredibly more than pretty much my own family. <laughs> <laughs> Cameron's rates up there, he's getting better, we'll just say that. I'll take that. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to close this up, but congratulations and thank you again for everyone coming and being a part of this.